Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Nerdy Channel. We are here to look at a very amazing build by Mr. Grey One, and this is the Yamato. Who choose him, can Yamato? Um, yes, uh, Star Blazers, maybe it was called in uh, English. Uh, it's a very classic space anime. It's like the classic space anime from the 70s. It's a great one. I would recommend anyone to join to watch the original actually. And if one is uh, a little bit um, sensitive about old animation quality, there is a remake which is also good, which I've seen. I've seen them all. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen them all. Um, this is a really, I even see the live action movie, that's not very good. Watch one of the enemies plays. Uh, in any case, this is the great space battleship Yamato, and it's, um, it's actually the uh, Yamato battleship from World War II that has been refurbished and made into a uh, spaceship that needs to save Earth from the evil Gamlias uh, and stuff like that and they're going to Iskandar to do stuff in any case it's an amazing build I have uh, sneak peeked a little bit on it because I couldn't resist the temptation Mr. Grey has made an amazing job this is this is probably one of the better ships I've seen overall so this is this is among the top this is among the top it's a really great ship I think this I haven't checked it through and through already but uh, from what I've checked so far you know the nostalgia factor with all the functions and uh, you know just the aesthetics of this craft makes this the the best ship the best ship that was built under 100, one hit, <laughs> 2017, as uh, for damn it, 2018. I think it was updated this year though, but uh, 18, 19 that is. Don't make me talk about numbers. But anyways, it's a great ship, and we should take a thorough look at it. This will be a long episode, uh, so uh, breach uh, for impact, uh, not really, but uh, yes. You see, it's even the, this is the wave motion gun, whatever that means, but it's super powerful, just so you know. It's more powerful than every, anything you can imagine. It's basically the engine backwards, so it's the same uh, structure, but uh, yeah. So if you use the wave motion gun, you can't warp speed, if you wondered. And this is a cute little aim. I think it's very cute, don't you? Yes, you do. You have to. That's some pretty cool... Whoa! Pretty fast rolling. Some pretty nice turrets too. We will be checking in the turrets too. A lot of AMS turrets and a lot of anti-air turrets. And uh, all that cool stuff. And this ship is immense. It's like really immense. It's like huge. It's like insane. Um, yeah, so if you try to, uh, this is really cool uh, AA turret design, I love that, wow, it's like six outputs, anyways, um, we should be checking this out, it's a great one, great build, and now I should stop talking about how great it is, great it is, great, question mark, and we'll be checking it out instead. So we have some kind of compatibility dock here. I think it might be some ejection pod there, but we will be using the elevator system, which is a pretty vast system. So let's get into the elevator and go up. So uh, here we have the first floor which is 
whole decks left. Fly deck. And here we have the fighters hanging around here. And that's pretty neat. Oh no, we don't want to fall down there. Um, I don't know if... Uh, let's, let's just walk into one of the fighters. I don't remember the name of these fighters, unfortunately. Maybe I should, because I'm kind of invested in the series, but... Uh, yes. Let's see if it has... Uh, no data, okay. We have some weapons. Activation module, okay, no data. Oh yeah, that's right. We are now released. That's so cool. Man, we gotta check out this fighter here. Yep. Looks like uh, one of the fighting aircraft in the uh, series. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's great. We have uh, some uh, beams there and we have some missiles. Cool, that's great. Well, anyways, we should get uh, we should get back to the ship though. <laughs> now, question is, we'll see if we can dock to it again. That's just remembering. Which one do we belong to? We selected the right one, didn't we? So let's fly towards this. Oh yeah. Oh no, oh yes. Oh yeah, we selected the right one on the right and uh, the attachment, oh wow, I've seen that, I haven't seen that executed this well that many times, that's great, that's perfect, it's perfect, wow, love that, and I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, but uh, I think I'm um, is this some kind of emergency exit? I don't know, but wow the I mean We could just jump into these fighters take it for a tour and then just fly on the pickup point And it would attach us automatically So that's some that's some really nice logic involved there very good job That's I don't I don't say a ship is the best ship at an entire year of star made creation for no reason it's uh, there is a lot of competition a lot of great ships I've seen under the last year but damn it this one takes it it's so great all right and we have hangar docks um, their own hangar dock Okay. Cargo doors must be open for launch control to operate. Right. So now the cargo doors are open. Now, of course, uh, you would almost need a manual to uh, work with this thing. Pretty advanced stuff. And here we have a lot of drones. Holy cow. Drone hangar deck. I don't know if we will have drones flying towards us now. All oh, right, so here we have an entrance towards some place. 
Wow, this is vast. This is a lots of drones. Lots of drones. Okay. So, okay, we were poking in the cargo operation area, I guess. And this is some um, place. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh, there we have an entrance. I mean, this is a labyrinth. The areas in this ship is pretty amazing, though. Automatic doors everywhere, by the way, so that's a thing. All right. Docking to internal dock. Dock status all docked. Internal eject. Internal eject. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, they're basically parading out now. Wow. Man, keep those drones rolling. You know, this is pretty, this is pretty amazing. I haven't even seen it all. I just checked around a little bit quickly when I said this is probably the, the best ship this year. And, uh, oh no, I stepped on something. That's scary. What is this? I don't know. This is so advanced. It's so amazingly advanced, uh, it's a little bit scary to you know, poke at something, because you know, you don't, oh, wow. Okay, what is this then? Dock counter reset. Top. Okay, so here you can reset the structure when you want to uh, dock them again. And that feels like you have to be an engineer in the field to even do that. But, wow. We just ejected all those drones and it was easy. That's amazing. Oh no, what's this? Oh no! Star made crashed. Classic! All right, so the game had really bad fail. We'll just need to restart some stuff here. Hang on. Right, so we're back in the game again. Uh, now, Star Mid can be a little bit frustrating when it crashes like that, and it's kind of seeing a permanent crash. Uh, and, uh, well, if you get that crash, I'll just quickly tell you what to do. Uh, what you do is you close the game down, you start, uh, you, you open the game again, then you start a new world, then you log off from that world, and then <clears throat> you uh, hop into your uh, previous worlds, and then it's fixed. And you might need to do that a few times, and if it happens like every time you play the game, then you might need to uh, reinstall it. But uh, that's... Uh, that's uh Star made for you. It uh, it's it's very apparent. It's in development, <laughs> but well, we love it anyways. It's it's uh, you know we can have structures like this in it. That's that's why that's why it's so cool. All right, so here we have research and medical level four. Ah oh, wow, you see those? Wow. The walls are great. Love those walls. That's really... That's really interesting. It's such a simple effect. Just the uh, glowing crystals. It's so simple to do, but it looks so great. It's like quarter slabs there. Okay. Uh, anyways, here we have medical and research. And here we can see specimens growing. Okay. Hmm. 
Right, here we have a medical room with some medical supplies. Bri uh, Britzar, and no, not one at least. And stuff. Now, I wonder what this is. It looks kind of dangerous. Like some decant the decontaminator chamber. Well, it's a nice, nice place. Cool. I don't know what it is. This is, but it looks cool. A cry with thing. Here we have uh, to have the you know sick people in there and healing them. And here we have, uh, okay, like maintenance area too. Right. Mm. Somehow I'm kind of lost. <laughs> and here we have more, this feels like the research lab more of. Wow, what is this machine? It's so well made. It looks really cool. Wow, that's that's a great, great design, great design. Here we have like a uh, hydraulic press. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, some small specimens there and stuff. We have like uh, plants behind, uh, no storming is weird, so we can kind of see stuff too, through that because it's you know transparent and such and uh, well looks very nice in any case uh, this little research room and stuff is very very nice but we should shall get out of here uh, to look at the rest of the ship all right, so here we have the tunnel again, great. With a similar decoration. Wow, I mean the interior decorator. You see the 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 ceiling here? You see how immersive this, this tunnel gets? This is so immensely well executed. Wow. Okay, next floor. What do we have here? Pretty long. Whoa. Okay, the game didn't crash, it just froze. <laughs> okay, scary. Um, hold decks left, the shift deck. Alright, so here we have kind of uh, the mess hall. We have some uh, cooking equipment, definitely. No doubt about that. This glitch is still in the game. Hmm, would have known. Uh, and we have a uh, pretty nice area just like that, some velocity system sector information generally. And uh, well, then we have red and uh, green side. I really appreciate this kind of setup so that you know which side is which. The amount of logic contained in this little jar has to be enormous to keep track of all these entities. Oh no! What's this? Okay, it's some kind of uh, fast access... I don't know. Oh no! This is... Wait. The elevator is... Are, are there different elevator? Huldex elevator. Oh. I'm so lost. What's happening? Let me get through the wall. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> How should I understand this?
Oh well. So here we have a little medic area. No, this is oh, this is bunk beds. Okay, good. Now I'm with this, with you. Okay. And this is whole deck elevator lift. So if I go into this elevator, and oh, look. Okay. So I suppose we can't take the other elevator up anymore. In that case. Uh, but it feels weird. I mean, eh. let's just check it here. So that we don't miss stuff. Okay. No, I can't take this elevator one. Now I'm really confused. Whole deck's birth, birth deck. Now we're here, okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Birth deck, level 2. And here we have kind of authorized personnel. Oh, that's calling the elevator, yes. What's this? Oh, that's like the the heck that the uh, prison area thing. Okay, good, cool. And now we're back here, and here we have this strange. Oh, we have so we have like whoa, wow, what's that drop? So we have like this uh, FP, uh, this uh, crew stuff. I don't seem to be able to go any further with this uh, elevator. Okay. Hold X left. Where is the next? And here we have the next elevator. So bridge Dex left. Okay, makes sense. So here we have another set of lifts. Okay, now we're at this gravity, so we can go up. Ooh. And now we have a quarter deck. Cool. Now I'm with us. With with y'all. Uh, I kind of want to be in main gravity to not lag around, but oh well. So here we have the. Uh... Oh wow, that's a very cool effect. I see that. It's just the quarter blocks going up there, and then we have the. Angle box going against them. And yeah, that's great. So a lot of people can go at once and uh, if we select here. We I don't know what destination that is, but we got another destination. Oh well. Bridge deck lifts. Oh no, this is the airlock. Scary stuff. And here we can see the vastness of space. I mean like that. And then like that. Yes. Here we have the... Uh, did I miss something now? Probably did. No? This is the transport. Okay. Quarter deck. Yes. Quart isn't it quarters? I don't know. <clears throat> There's the airlock. But uh, here we have the uh, like general command center, I guess. <laughs> nice flooring. And uh, we have a lot of uh, panels and stuff like that. So uh, for a lot of people, it's uh, you. I mean, you can you can really recognize this from this area. It's well made. It looks similar. It's really nice. Love it. And we have a really awesome detail that's also in the series. This is what I I, I sneak peek on this thing before. It's so cool. 
it has this kind of share that can uh, teleport or go up and down between different roofs and it has it so um, well I can think that's the down button okay there is he and now we come up here to the core this is the core area and here, here is you know here we have an awesome little uh, model spinning around there and we also have a switch for turning on and off the displays this is so cool and a lot of like uh, command center stuff where people can sit around and wow pigments I don't know tubes and stuff looks so good just need to check around what's in here bridge deck lifts bridge deck all oh, right okay oh yeah we brought the, we can bring the other elevator with us but uh, anyways we can go further up with this yeah, that's what we're talking about. Like the captain's private little chamber here. We can see, overview the whole place. This is so amazing. I mean this one. And not that one. That's like some safety stuff. This one. Wow. That's so amazing. Alright. Um... I don't want to miss anything, so we'll just... Oh, we have the elevator here. Let's go up the next floor, if there is someone. And here we have observation deck. Oh, wow! Yeah, that's a new area. And here we have observation deck. That's so cool. Love that. You can just stand around here and watch, and it's... Wow. Observation deck, that's so cool. And now we... Oh, we can, we can go up one more oh really so if you take the elevator too far you just get uh, <laughs> you get uh, launched out of space basically no I tried to activate the gravity oh well no I think I messed up something. Okay, it doesn't eject that at least. Okay, good. So yeah, that's the thing. Let's find the bridge deck here. Huh, did we send this elevator down? Anyways. Now we're into the ship, and we can now start to check the systems. So here we have MRGS Yamato. We have stats. Some info that you can input. Check the cameras. Oh, this is a nice top view. I'm pretty cool. We have a bottom view. Unfortunately, it's blocked. We have a wave motion gun view, kind of. We have a little bottom front view and a standard view. All right. We're just going to straighten this up. Whoops. Well, there we have the interiors of this thing. Now we should start checking some systems and stuff. Um, so we'll begin with these turrets. See if they, ha oh, they actually got the camera. That's cool. Which is uh, beams, that's as it's supposed to be. Um, and they are movable like this 
and you can see that these beauties still look cool when they aim and you can definitely recognize these from the there's some, there's some cool looking turrets 400 each in the systems so they also deal damage yep that's amazing love that and I mean the shape of the uh, like hull it's so, you know, the round, these round shapes are hard to get right, and, you know, they are. They're perfect. Okay, so, I love this radar stuff, by the way, you know, white, red, white, red, white. Very, looks so good. And the glass is green, as it's supposed to be. Yep. This is my favorite ship of 2018. I see it. Uh, I didn't look at it then, but uh, ooh, red. I think I think the red. Yeah, that looks familiar. I think the AMS, uh, like the anti-missile and and the air stuff, are red. And yeah, but that's cool. So I mean. The, the fun thing with these turrets are that they're kind of just cut out for this space and oh my god you can see we can just we can just shoot where we need to that's great they can even have negative they're really designed to be just right for dislocation at this ship great that's so well made and here we have like real AMS turret I suppose like six outputs And, uh, woo -woo. and they are very uh, movable like that. I think it's the same base as the other ones, but super, super nice. Uh, here we have slightly bigger turrets, uh, probably anti-air, even like cameras. And they have, uh, well, beams like that. So that looks, that looks pretty cool. Wow, that's some uh, strong beams. Yeah, love those. So cool. This doesn't have the. Okay, need to draw the beams down there. Bam, bam. Okay, I failed to. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. So here we have a smaller version of that turret. Oops, shoot our own tail. Well, you can see. Can we see? Yep. Wow, looks so cool. Yep. So now we checked all the turrets type, I think. Um, by the way, I'm just curious. Hmm. This is the same part, yep. Good. Oh. Every one of you that uh, seen the this like anime, you remember this part of the ship? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, me too. It's fantastic. Say no more. And uh, <laughs> well, oh, that's an interesting little little antenna thing. Amazing. Let's check the main weapon systems of this beauty. And we see also seem to have some drones. Oh, there we have. Oh, we forgot to launch them. We just kind of extended them, so it's like launch internally. So we put them up here and uh, well let's see if we can get into the command seat here. Damage beam, okay that's probably a wave motion gun. We should just uh, line this up properly like that. Uh, now we should detach ourselves like that and see what we got. So here we have this oh no shields down weapon must be charged oh yeah right this is the wave motion gun bam yes wow that's fantastic
we need we need to get as I mean, I mean you realize that we need to get a nice wave motion gun shot in any case uh, before we do that we also have missiles oh no I don't know if missiles... So I have no idea if I forgot something or, or if missiles isn't really working. Uh, but we are going to... Um, we are going to show the way motion gun in action here. You see that? Yes, this is so cool. Oh, wait, what's this? Is this the missiles? Or did I accidentally launch a few of the drones? I probably launched a few of the drones. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get back to that. Now we've seen the way motion gun, which is awesome. Now we have a cloaker which is Jam True Cloak Stealth 3, so this is a pretty cool system. A scanner, a regular scanner, and we have, oh no, we accidentally jumped. Okay, um, any case, we have a jump drive computer with, uh, you know, two jumps, so that's pretty cool. We also have uh, navigation lights. Ah, which is basically regular white lights like that. We have command clock. I have no idea what a command clock does. Well, uh, yes. Maybe it some, uh, says something in the description. We of course have a lot of different docks. I don't know wh where they're all located, but both sized ships can be hard to dock. Um, but we got one... Here we actually have a USD. That's amazing. We have two USD. Yep, and they're correct. Uh, then we have activation module. Okay, that's just for activating. Then we have a docker. Oh, down there we have a docker. And that's that's useful. And we... Oh, right! We have a docker there too. On the kind of lower point. Yeah, that's very useful too. And then we have external eject. Wow. Come on. Now it resets the camera all the time. We better go to build mood. Uh, wow. And there the drones went away. Ooh. What is... We have something called port launch. Oh! It's the fighters! We have commands for launching the fighters there too. Okay, so here we can launch our other one. I don't know what they're called, I don't remember. I think Mustang, but that's Star Citizen. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of functions. <sighs> I don't know, I, I, you know, this, this ship has been so damn fun to look at that I don't really I don't know how long time this took I guess it's over an hour but uh, I mean I didn't notice the time passing you know just recording this it's you know it's so well made that 
it is a true true joy to look at this 7000 blocks for the big gun by the way for the wave motion gun so that's um, that's a formidable beam and it's very nice that uh, it's very nice that it actually manages to fire that anyways I didn't at all you know notice all the time passing because it's so cool but wow great build this is the best ship I've seen for a long time and it's not that there hasn't been many great ship it has it's just the nostalgia the super advanced systems and just stuff working flawlessly and of course the design of the vessel is spot on i think <laughs> it's just it looks how i remember it at least and it's if i see this it's that one second i see it's the wave motion uh, it's the it's the yamato with the wave motion engines and guns and stuff like that wow in any case uh, one last thing I want to check, and that is that uh, ship reactor. So we got FTL. Yep. So I didn't miss any systems. Well, uh, with that, I have to say thank a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review as much as I did and I hope you will uh, check this ship and uh, download it oh and one you know we, we already you know, one thing one thing <clears throat> we might crash it but uh, let's for the safe you know just start the recording because here we have the turrets Alright, so now, now we will do something. We activate all the turrets. Entity structure. Turret docking system. Activate all AI. And now. Maybe it didn't work. Hmm. It's there though. No. Catalog ship entity structure. But I think it might be. Uh, need to spam them sometimes, by the way. I think it's Rail Collective. And you just reset all turrets, activate all AI turrets, and just. Activate all docked entities. I don't know. In any case, I don't know why it's not. Maybe we need to. Yeah, okay. Let's let's just make a quick check here. If we find the uh, if we find a docker we can see if it's set correctly really should be some quick command to do that however but well hmm. okay we can just check in here then AI turret Oh, okay, we need to set them to remote control, of course. Uh, it's probably good that all the turrets aren't connected up by remote control. Uh, because if they were, we might have some serious uh, game crashing. Uh, well, in any case, it's dragged on long enough and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it a lot and, you know, check it out. It's a great, great build. 
So once again, thanks a lot for watching and hope you will check out our future videos. This is Jimodism Total Nerdery Channel with an amazing ship by Mr. Grey. One. So have a good, have a great day and see you around Jimodism Total Nerdery Channel. Signing out.